let's talk about children that are born to cover up the fact that their mothers are lesbians married to men. I think in general, it's easier for a woman to be in the closet as compared to a man, especially in African societies. If say a 40 year old woman was living with another 40 year old woman in the same house or another 25 year old woman, um, people will not really ask too many questions. Like even if you're living in a one bedroom, the two of you, and you're sharing the same bed, people will just think, oh, well, they're just cutting cost. But it's not the same case for a man. If for example, a 40 year old man is living in the same house with another 40 year old man, even though they're living in different bedrooms and they're having separate lives and nothing is really happening between them sexually, people will still assume that there's something more to it, that you are a couple, even if you're not. You see two women walking down the street or walking in the mall um, hand in hand, you don't really usually think too much about it. But if it's two grown guys with pot bellies walking hand in hand in the mall, being all giggly. And because of that, it is now easier for a woman to be married with kids, but still maintain an outside relationship with her lesbian girlfriend. Because loving someone of the same gender is still pretty much frowned upon in African societies, what women do is they just live their normal life, meaning they get married, they have kids, but they still continue with their relationship. Today, I want to talk about the children that are born out of this deceit. For example, I know someone who told me that when she was still a teenager, she got she caught her mom in bed with another woman. She was married to her dad. That day she got home earlier than expected and as usual just went upstairs to look for her mom. When she got in, she just found her in bed with another woman and they were not sleeping. She locked eyes with her mom and that memory has never disappeared in her head. What's funny is they've never had a discussion about it ever since it happened, even up to now that she's, she's an adult in her thirties, they've never discussed it with her mom. It's just something that was swept under the rug. What was even more difficult for her is the fact that she cannot tell her dad because if she does, they're probably going to break up and it's going to cause a divorce and it's just going to be such a big thing. And to find out that your wife is cheating and not only is she cheating, but she's cheating with a woman, it will really like break his ego. And also for the fact that your child is the one telling you this news. I asked her, why doesn't she just have a discussion about it? Now that she's an adult, they can just have an open conversation with her mom if she feels like this is something that she really wants to discuss. And she says, um, she doesn't think that, that is right because that would be almost the same as outing someone, you know, um, getting someone out of the closet or whatever you choose to call it. She said it would make her feel terrible knowing that her mom is not willing to talk about it and you're there confronting her about her sexuality. Also, the mom is still married to the dad. They're still very happily married. So <laughs> second scenario was quite opposite. Um, this was a boy raised by a single mom. So during all his life growing up, um, the mom never had any male friends that he could remember. There are always female friends visiting, but there were never any male friends around him. The mom and dad divorced when he was about 10 years old. So for the rest of that time, he never really met his dad again. So it was just him and his mom. Recently, the mom unprovoked confessed to the son that she is actually a lesbian. And the only reason why she gave birth was just to make people not suspect her of being a, lesb a lesbian. She said she wanted to confess because she now wanted to be free. She wanted the world to know, but before the world could get to know, she wanted her son to be the first to know. 
at first he said it was confusing and he felt angry because he felt like he was just used you know like his only purpose in life was to cover up her mom's um, sexual preference he started looking at this situation from a different point of view he figured if he wasn't born the mom would not have been free the mom would not uh, would not have been able to date women and to live her life the way that she wanted to live her life so as much as he was born out of necessity he was born because the mom needed to cover her tracks it was because of him that the mom actually lived a happy and fulfilled life in her youth when he looks at it from that angle he's actually very happy that he was born it's as if he saved his mom in a weird way i think this is a very big topic to talk about and i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments remember to subscribe see you soon there are mothers with children who are married to men but are also lesbians she's cheating on you with a woman